To be able to truly conduct night operations, you want to be able to do the same things that you could do during the day. Night vision has made leaps and bounds. Night vision is really incredible, but even night vision, as far as it's come, still has limitations. So we have a capability in the X10D called Night Sense, which allows all the obstacle avoidance and all the AI features that we had in previous drones that worked during the day, allows that to operate at night. And that is a phenomenal capability because it's one thing to be able to see in the night, it's another thing to be able to get to where you want to see at night, and that's what Night Sense brings. The first application of Night Sense that makes a lot of sense is operators very rarely have um, the luxury of being able to go out into an open field with no obstructions and launch. What we're designing for is the ability to be under tree cover, behind tree cover, and be able to take off while not exposing yourself. You have this low hour pilot who is able to fly in the daytime and then you know maybe he's high risk at night. That's no longer the case. Um, now with Night Sense, we're able to, you know, if you're in a high threat crash environment, turn on Night Sense. You have your IR illuminators to provide obstacle avoidance. You get free of the obstacles and send your drone on its way to go do its mission. The other use case is when you're in tight quarters in a, in a dense urban environment. That active illumination is going to give you the ability to fly on VIO only and not care whether you're being GPS denied. Um, as is you know, very often the case in, in a lot of these conflict areas. Also, we've incorporated a best-in-class thermal camera, which is the Flare Boson Plus. There are still things that enemy can do to kind of mask their signature, so it's really important to have a high-quality thermal. Having the X-10D to essentially scout ahead and provide situational awareness and do a route reconnaissance, now I'm starting to detect things that shouldn't be there. I can also start to make decisions that enable me to say we need to choose a new route or we need to make a decision about that thing. It brings a capability to the warfighter that expands across time domains. The general guiding principle right, is that we want operators to be able to fly at night with the same level of ease that they fly during the day. And so what that requires is again, not just a great FLIR camera that can see things, but the autonomy that we've already built in and now the night sense capability that allows that operator to fly the vehicle just like it was the day and not have to worry about crashing it into a tree or a building because that obstacle avoidance is built in.